Papa for NutritiousAmerica.com, and this is my kale obsession. So I'm gonna make a vegan sweet potato and kale soup with almond milk. I love soup. I think soup is one of just the world's most perfect foods. It's so nourishing, it's so satisfying. So I have um, one large onion chopped here, and I put in my pan about a tablespoon of olive oil. Just gonna get the onion going. This is a really fast cooking soup, which I also love. As these onions are breaking down, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Okay. Sweet potatoes are jam-packed with vitamin A, beta carotene. I think in the winter and the fall, they're the perfect food, really. They give you that sweet hit that you're looking for. So this is a great way to eat some sweet potatoes, maybe in a, you know, in a way you've never tried before. I have five cups of chopped sweet potatoes here. They're gonna go right in with the onions. Like I said, this is a fast recipe. Total cooking time is about 25 minutes, which for soup is really quick. Mix all of that up together. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon, some black pepper, This is also delicious with a little hit of cayenne. I don't feel like eating that today, so <laughs> I'm not putting it in, but it's great with cayenne. Let that go for about one to two minutes. After this is sauteed for one to two minutes, you're gonna add vegetable broth. This is three cups of vegetable broth. This is organic vegetable broth. If you wanna make your own, absolutely go for it, but it's readily available. Certainly go for the organic. It's just a little bit more expensive, but it's so worth it. Okay, now at this point, you're gonna put the top on and you're gonna let this go for 20 minutes until the sweet potatoes are soft. So after 20 minutes, you're going to put the contents of this gorgeous soup into this blender. I already started it here for you and see how it blends up into this gorgeous thing. Next thing we're gonna do is add the almond milk. This is one and a half cups of organic, unsweetened almond milk. Be cautious of that piece because you don't want too much sweetness from this almond milk, and you definitely don't want almond milk that's flavored. I find that doesn't work well, so here we go. going to add just that luscious creaminess that you expect from a creamed soup like this, but it's vegan. So there isn't any kind of dairy product. There's no saturated fat. It's just heart healthy almonds. The next final finish is maple syrup, a tablespoon of maple syrup, and that's just going to help balance out all the flavors. Turn it back on for a minute. Okay. And I'm sure you're all thinking, but you told us it was sweet potato and kale soup. Where's the kale? Good question. Let me show you. First, I'm gonna serve up some of this soup into this bowl here. Oh, this is the perfect consistency. It's a gorgeous color. Look at all that beta carotene. It's awesome. And here is the kale. I made a super special treat with my kale. I made cinnamon and sugar kale chips. So to make the kale chips, you, um, I use lacinato kale, which is a tougher kale and it works well for kale chips. You simply very well dry the, rinse and dry the kale, take it off the stems, break it into small pieces on a cookie sheet at 300 degrees for 20 minutes. What I sprinkled on the kale before it went into the oven was cinnamon, a little bit of coconut palm sugar, some salt, and a little bit of olive oil. And this is my garnish. So how gorgeous is that? It's gonna give it a little bit of a sweet hit. It just looks really funky and cool. And you get a crunch from the kale. So so much better than that kale floating around in that soup all sort of gray and yucky, right? Try a kale chip with your vegan sweet potato soup. I'm Abra Papa from nutritiousamerica.com. Eat your greens and have a delicious day.